Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we're going to be looking at Rollercoin, the changes that have happened to my account, and that update I promised you in the last video. So keep watching. Hi and welcome to another video. And for those of you that are visiting my channel for the first time, and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto related stuff, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest videos as they come online. Okay, so Rollercoin, what is going on, what has happened, and how things have changed. Okay, so for those of you that are not familiar with what Rollercoin is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put an earlier video in the description, a link to that in the description, which will give you a, a bit of a sort of bigger review, a better understanding of how the program works and what you need to do to get things up and running. Uh, like I say, I'll put that link in the description. For YT viewers, I'll put that link at the top here. And if you watch this video right to the end, uh, you'll be able to click on the link at the end there as well. And then you can just go and watch it straight away. Okay, so my account, what has happened with my account? Well, as you can see, uh, for starters, that um, I have actually managed to buy myself another two RLT uh, gold miners. Uh, why am I pushing these, obviously uh, jumping on these miners so much? Uh, I keep talking about them. And basically what it is, is just that the gold miners are so much more efficient than the other miners. Also as well, it's just a better investment because what it means is that you can buy one rack and you can get loads more power on that rack uh, as opposed to if you're buying the other miners. Basically, you know, just a quick look. If we go into the shop, so if you want to go and buy RLT, right? So, so RLT is the roller coin in game currency, and this is the only way to buy the gold miners. So, if you want to, if you want to purchase those gold miners, basically what you've got to do is uh, to, to earn or to be able to buy 10 RLT, which I know. As you can see, doesn't get you any, doesn't really get you anywhere, but it gets you part of the way there. So to buy ten will cost you twenty thousand satoshis, right? So for twenty, if you was to spend that twenty thousand satoshis on normal miners, this is all pretty much all you could buy because the next one up is twenty five thousand. I mean, let's even look at that. So twenty five thousand satoshis, right? You're going to get six terahashes. If you spend your 20,000, you've got yourself 10 RLT. Yes, you will need to then save up another 20,000 so you can buy another 10 RLT. So you got 20 RLT. You spend 16, that's got you 8 terahashes, which is 2 terahashes more than this one. But it's also giving you 4 change which then you can then put towards your next one. So, and as and that's basically what, for me, that's ha how to do it. Yes, like I say, you could go, just save up your 25, get six. Okay, you're only two terahashes sh uh, lower, but what you've got to remember is because you're earning um, your power, your starting power from playing the games, those so those each of these games will give you uh, per game will give you a certain amount of power and that power will go up every level you complete. I, I've, I'm up to level 10 on the coin flip that is giving me 1.6 terahashes of power every time I play a game on level 10. If you go if you keep going that power will continue to rise but that power only has a limited amount of time and then you start losing it and this is why i keep saying for those of you that are playing this game or using this program with the idea of of building and actually earning a good amount of bitcoin or whatever coin you want you need to get yourself miners why basically because with the mine the power that you buy with your miners doesn't go so if you've got say you've bought your one your one um, 
six or eight terahash uh, gold miner, one of these little ones, and then you play and you get yourself up to say 15, uh, 15 terahashes. Uh, if for some reason you then can't get in here on the next uh, the next couple of days, that is then only going to drop back down to what that is giving you, which is eight. Whereas if you don't have any miners at all, that will just keep dropping, keep dropping, and keep dropping it until you get to zero, and therefore you're not earning anything. That's why I keep sort of investing in these miners because I know that basically if we go and check out my profile, so I have. Uh, a total of 400 and something, 460 odd uh, terahashes, 466 terahashes. Uh, but I know if for some weird reason I can't get in here, uh, that you know, for a week, say, it's only going to drop as far as 330 terahashes, which is my miners, which is what I've bought miners. And to get back up to that doesn't take a lot of time at all. So that's why, you know, I do say that if you're going to get involved in this program, sure, play the games, build, you know, build up using the games. Obviously, I'm not saying put money into this. I'm saying build up. But then as soon as you have the opportunity to go and buy yourself some miners, buy yourself some miners. And that will just, uh, you know, keep building your uh, your program. Because obviously, if you've got if you've got, say, 10 terahashes in here all that you've built up through games and then you've got enough money to go and buy yourself uh, one of the one of these suddenly you buy that that's then boosted your account up to 18 terahashes so that you know so then you've only got to play a little bit more and you're at 20 terahashes and then obviously every time you add a miner it just catapults you that bit higher uh, and obviously on the leaderboard ladder and all that kind of stuff so for me it is definitely worth doing okay so obviously the other change I've made to my account is if we go in here because obviously as I say this is a multi coin mining game so you can mine BTC Doge and you can mine ETH uh, in the last in the last um, video I did that I was only uh, using my power to mine Bitcoin and mine Ethereum although I had mine Doge in the past I've now basically changed it because I was at 80% Bitcoin, 20% Ethereum. I've now dropped this down to 75 and I've put 5% of my power into mining Doge. Because like I said in uh, the last video is that, you know, is I showed the update that um, Rollercoin had basically sent to me in my email. Uh, so that was this basically saying the long awaited news is that they were testing withdrawals for doge and eth because obviously even even though it's a multi-coin mining program you could you could withdraw bitcoin because that's what they started with then when they introduced doge and eth i think they were just looking to see how popular it would be that people would mine those other coins before they started implementing withdrawals obviously that popularity has risen and even probably find that they've probably had lots of emails asking them when can we withdraw when can we withdraw so they've started to implement this they would start to do uh, beta tests and have test groups and all this stuff basically because they want to make sure that all withdrawals are uh, safe and secure and if we go back to um, we go back to uh, my account as we can see here if we go to the wallets and then if we click here we go look ethereum so withdrawal you can that withdrawal button is there uh doge that withdrawal button is there i'm just shy of a withdrawal uh for my doge but ethereum they're saying that the minimum is 400,000 i have 869,000 as you can see here so that means i can make a withdrawal so i'll probably i probably will do that uh in in the in in short term a uh, pro you know so then i can do a proof of withdrawal for you guys and once i get to uh, a high enough on my doge i will do the same for that so i can do a payment proof on this program even though i have done one in the past for bitcoin i've not done one for eth or ethereum uh, eth or doge because obviously they were not available at the time so basically you know that's pretty much it if you are interested in those earlier videos if you want to find more out about this program 
that video is probably on your screen right now so get clicking and go and watch it check it out see if it's something for you uh, if you can smash that like button if you enjoyed the video that'd be absolutely excellent really helps out my channel that basically is you supporting my channel so that you know that's brilliant and that also you know just inspires me to make more content for you guys so take care have a great weekend and i'll speak to you soon thanks a lot bye